Yesterday, I took a pregnancy test because I was starting to feel like really weird, right? And I took it yesterday night, nothing showed up, but I looked at this morning and there's, there's a faint line. I don't know if you guys can see that. What? I am like shaking right now. Oh, oh my gosh, I think. Oh my gosh, look. There's a faint line right here. When I took it yesterday night, I didn't see anything show up. So I am going to take another test. I just took another one this morning. And this one looks maybe a little bit darker than um, the one yesterday. But yeah, it's still showing that I'm pregnant. So I'm pretty happy about that. I took another test today. Today is January the 7th. Today is my 14 DPO. And so I took one on these little test strips. I can't really tell if this line is darker than the line that I had gotten yesterday. It looks a little bit darker to me, but... And then I um, decided to take it with the first response and yeah, as you can tell, the line is a little bit different. I feel like um, the first response is a lot skinnier. I feel like my test line looks darker here than it does here. So that's really interesting, but yeah. Today is the day that I do a pregnancy announcement for Philip. I actually thought about waiting until I was further along, maybe after the first um ultrasound appointment so that I can show him the pictures but that was just way too long and um the secret <laughs> and the burden was a little bit too heavy for me to carry so I started looking up um, pregnancy announcement videos online to see if I can get any creative ideas on how to break the news to him and so I'll show you guys what I got I got this mustard yellow onesie from the store. Um, since I don't know if it's going to be a boy or girl, I just got something that was uh, maybe more on like the neutral side. And I've seen people use yellow as like a color to paint the baby rooms um, when they don't know the gender yet and they want it to be a surprise. So I thought that going with yellow would be a great idea. After fighting with my Cricut, <laughs> I was able to print out some um, vinyl letters with like these two little baby feet to just like stick on the shirt. Um, I don't have like a heat press nor do I have the materials um, to um, press it onto the shirt or the ink onto the shirt. So I just did stick ons instead. And then in the box, I was planning on putting in like these little baby bear shoes. Oh my gosh look how cute and then i also got this little um baby toy right here also a bear so it matches it's so cute i can't wait to see his reaction i couldn't find any cute box <laughs> from the store so i'm just using this uh, box from usps and um apparently now i can't find my tissue paper so i'm gonna have to make this work all right, so this is what I did. I just used some uh, crumpling paper that I got from TJ Maxx. So this is what we're going with. And then I'm gonna tape it up. I'm just gonna open this mysterious package. I told him I got him a surprise today. No. Open it all the way. Wait. No. I've I've known since Thursday. Oh, I'm gonna be a dad. Mhm. Mm 
Oh <laughs> my... Wait, what? No way. Yep. That's my pregnancy test in there. It tested positive. It worked? Yeah, it worked. Baby, don't cry. Ah! No. Oh. Surprise! Ooh! Oh! 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 We're pregnant. Wait, for real? We are so excited to be welcoming a new member to our family this September 2023. This child has been prayed for and so wanted and we were so elated that we get to celebrate this news of a new life with our closest family members and friends. Of course, scheduling didn't always work out so we couldn't really get them on FaceTime. So we had to make do with phone calls and text messages. But nevertheless, that's okay. I look forward to documenting more of my pregnancy journey in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys will come back for the next video. Bye.